What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're talking about Terrifier in this video here again today. More specifically, Terrifier 2. Uh, now, I've never talked about Terrifier or Terrifier 2 or even All Hallows Eve, I believe, I believe is the other one that this character appears in. I've never talked about them on this channel. Uh, might start doing it a bit more often only because uh, I've given up hope on us getting anything consistently with Pennywise. I am a big fan of Art the Clown. I love Terrifier. I don't think it's necessarily the greatest thing out there, but you know, in comparison to what they had to work with and what they were able to accomplish with that budget uh i'm very impressed and i can't wait to see what they have cooked up damien leon has cooked up with this sequel that is supposed to be coming out later this halloween season i believe it's supposed to come out last year i know it's but it was affected by everything going on in the world but hopefully we get to see what they can bring to the table later on this year when they secure distribution i believe shout out to uh fake decided really quick i believe he left a comment on one of your videos stating that they were working on trying to get it to a streaming service or a streaming platform as soon as this halloween season Season. so we'll see if we actually get to see terrifier 2 later this year on a streaming service my hope is that it lands on shutter that's my honest hope i think that type of grindhouse uh gore would be perfect on the shutter platform now everything i've been hearing about the about the film and everything i've seen so far has been just making me curious and even more curious because we got a preview of Paul Wiley's score, which I think sounded like it's going to be very good based off of the initial track that uh, Damien had previewed over on his Facebook page. And again, he stated that he's trying to get it to a streaming platform by this Halloween. So I'm hoping again it'll be on Shutter. Uh, and again, I have to just talk about everything that they were able to accomplish with that first movie. Again, I don't think it's great. I'm not saying it's the best. I'm not saying that some of the acting wasn't a little bit rough or anything like that. I really hope that what Damien does here is give us a little bit something a bit more character driven, something a little bit more uh, written better in terms of the dialogue this time around, because I know a lot of people felt that Art the Clown, he I fell in love, I think, with mostly the potential I saw from what David Howard Thornton was doing as his character, Art the Clown. I fell in love with the potential but felt that everything else around him was so lacking in a way but still fell in love with again how this was still effective given how again low budget it was this is again the production i have to say this if you're listening to me david or uh, uh not david but uh, if you're listening to me damien this movie while the production value is lower than jeepers creepers 3 it is still better than jeepers creepers 3 what you accomplish here is in, is far superior than what was accomplished through a third entry in a franchise that is tainted and i can't wait to see what you bring to the table with terrifier 2 uh I really just enjoy the character. I think that there is a potential for this character to become a massive icon if it is given the appropriate backdrop to maneuvering because I think that's mostly what my biggest concern was with Terrifier. It, it was so well done as a whole with what they had to work with but again some of the performances were a bit rough i do like how though with the script we were thought to believe that one pair of girls were going to include a final girl or at least be a final girl duo but then we find out it's actually i think the girl's name was tara we found out it's tara's sister victoria who was then revealed to be part of a big twist that started off at the beginning of the movie and she of course now as we know i think damien recently confirmed over on his instagram that she will actually be returning and again the way they worked her and then the final girl role i feel like that was handled quite well because i immediately thought that terror would be our final girl so i like how they they pulled the rug out from under us there and again i just hope this movie has a better structure i hope it's more invested in development of its characters while still having the gory appeal of the original and again i'm not saying it's a masterpiece by any means but what was accomplished is quite impressive art the clown i've seen people argue is better suited for a stronger film like i was saying earlier so i have hope that david was inspired to pin up a far superior script because for me again i latched onto that potential that i saw in the original film more than anything but i still love it and i think he's also stated that this movie is going to be over two hours long so there's definitely a chance for us to get a better narrative structure here and have a cohesive uh attachment or allow allow us to grow more attached to the characters on screen before they start going into the madness with art the clown and again i do have to talk about uh hawthorne's portrayal of the clown in in this movie the silence and the eeriness and the creepiness of it all and the way he is just so terrif living up to the title terrifying and kind of just overly um i would say 
what is a better thing to say overly i guess uh confident in the role is just very entertaining because i do think that he exudes a lot of terror in this role he is accomplishing a lot of things given what he has to work with and again i know it was made for relatively cheap so i hope that this movie ends up in the trailer that we saw so far for terrified 2 it does look like they have a massive higher budget not massive but definitely an improvement over what we got the last time and i just hope that we're able to get something that is more character driven something that allows us to grow connected with the characters before they again get put in this path of art the clown the movie itself from the synopsis i saw if i'm remembering correctly was going to be surrounding a or after being resurrected by a sinister entity, Art returns to Miles County where he must hunt down and destroy a teenage girl and her younger brother on Halloween. Now, the other thing that has me excited about this movie is the fact that I think Felissa Rose, who is Angela from Sleepaway Camp, I think she's going to be in it. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Can't wait to see how she factors into the movie. Uh, again, this was the post that Damien Leon put on his Instagram earlier this week, confirming that Victoria would indeed be returning to uh, star in the film. Now, of course, her disfigurement is a lot more it looks a lot more crisp and definitely again just better effects i think are going to be applied uh in terms of just how her face looks this time around obviously you see it's a bit of an upgrade it has a lot of uh more i guess pristine finishes to it finishing touches things that look better hopefully will come off even better on screen when we see it and just confirming that she will lauren lavera will be returning to the role as Victoria. I believe she played Victoria in the original one. But can't wait to see how this all works out. Are you a fan of Terrifier? Do you love All Hallows' Eve? I know some people also were talking about how it's not really that clear that art is supernatural in Terrifier. I'd have to argue that that's not true because it is very obvious from the get-go that he is supernatural. And especially at the end when we have him in that, in, in that area with that um, hospital worker, I'll say, working on him before he, of course, jumps up and attacks the guy but i love terrifier again i don't necessarily think it's the greatest thing out there but for what they had to work with it accomplishes so much can't wait to see it, the sequel later this year let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post a kiss you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video